to you and thank you for joining us on Y254. My name is Patricia Muriuki and tonight we talk about gender roles and society. Our society has a, a, set, a set of ideas about how we expect men and women to dress, behave and present themselves. Gender roles in society means how we expect them to act, speak, dress, groom and conduct ourselves based upon our assigned sex. Every society, ethnic group and culture as gender role expectations, but they can be very different from group to group. They can also change in the same society over time. Roles and duties that were traditionally done by males can now be done or carried out by females and vice versa. But how do people really feel about it? This is what we are trying to understand and speak to our guests tonight as we try to see as time changes, how do we create in shared responsibility without probably overstepping? How do we bring in the men to feel that probably they can help us in certain responsibilities that we have to do as women and also really try to address the big elephant, the society, because most of the times in every conversation we try to hear people say the society things the society says and tonight we really address the society as far as gender roles are concerned and to help us talk about this we have Emma Monguta who is the founder of Amandla Foundation. We also have Gideon Makumi who is a youth mentor and human resource manager at Bethel Network. Talk to us across our social media platforms that is at y254 channel you can also reach me at patricia murioki thank you very much for finding the time to be here with us i can see Gideon, it's been a minute since <laughs> i last had you on the show i can see that you're doing uh, well and the first question i would like us to address is we've, we've, we've talked about roles and duties are changing uh we've seen that uh certain <coughs> things that men were were termed as responsibilities that men were supposed to do, women cannot even do them. So what is your feel about these as society changes and we still have gender roles? Let us start by me getting your opinion. How do you really feel about this? Thank you, Patricia. You're welcome. Um, I think uh, first and foremost, gender roles, it's a, it's a socialization process. Mm -hmm. It is something that uh, we pick, habits mm -hmm. that we pick. Mm -hmm and we can as well drop. Okay. Uh, what is happening uh, and what I feel about it is that nowadays, mm -hmm. unlike before, where our parents mm -hmm. were very, very keen on socializing us as we grew, mm -hmm. things have really changed. Mm -hmm. We are picking things from the social media, mm -hmm. we are picking things from television. It's, very true. it's no longer the responsibility of parents mm -hmm. to show the their, their, their children, how mm. they're supposed to grow. Mm -hmm. So we are learning by ourselves. So what that does, especially to men, mm -hmm. I think when we look at the society, and I stand to be corrected, mm -hmm. uh, the boy child is mm -hmm. a big problem. Mm -hmm. That's why now when it comes, as this boy grows with a very little, if any, a very little empowerment, if any, we are growing seeing a boy who is not, who doesn't even know. Mm -hmm. what they're supposed to do, mm -hmm. who doesn't even know uh, who being a man is. Mm -hmm. It has resorted to a weaker man mm -hmm. and a very empowered woman mm -hmm. in our society. Mm -hmm. So there is a big problem mm -hmm. and I think it begins at childhood mm -hmm. and it manifests in adulthood. Mm -hmm. We have a weaker a set of men, mm -hmm. a, 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 a generation that has very weak men mm -hmm. and very empowered women, yeah. which is, there's this no is problem with and having empowered true. women, uh -huh. but then... Uh, not at the cost of having weak men. Not at the cost of having weaker yeah. boys. Yeah. So even as we do, we, we put in efforts to empower the girl child, mm -hmm. let's also empower the boy child. Okay. Because if I get, you get so empowered, mm -hmm. for example, Patricia, mm -hmm. and the guy who marry you is not equally mm -hmm. empowered, mm -hmm. Right there, there will be a problem, yes. which will result to uh, uh, gender roles that are not correct. Mm -hmm. So let's empower both mm -hmm. for those gender roles to be done properly. 
and for men to take their rightful position and women to take their rightful position. Okay. Uh, Emma, what is your thought about uh, what uh, the same question that Gideon was uh, responding to? We have all these things changing and now you can't really say that the woman is expecting to just be at home and be a maker and be a wife and a mother and all that. What is your thought about everything that is happening currently? Okay, so thank you for having me here um, again. You're Patricia. welcome. So my thought about this is um, society is changing. Mm -hmm. We are not in a century where you know men used to go and hunt mm -hmm. uh, women were gatherers and mm -hmm. used to stay at home mm -hmm. now a lot has changed yeah. women <coughs> go to work mm -hmm. subjects that were you know considered um, for the male generation mm -hmm. uh, you know now uh, and also careers are now being undertaken by women mm -hmm. so what I feel is society needs to change mm -hmm. And uh, these roles have really evolved, and it's high time that we teach uh, the young boys growing up that uh, be just because you are a man mm -hmm. or just because you are female mm -hmm. in line with the, you know gender mm -hmm. does not mean you don't you cannot fit in any um, in both sides. Mm -hmm. It's high time we learned that um, gender roles are not specific to a certain gender. I mm -hmm. mean. With times changing, mm -hmm. we need to do better. Okay. Mm. Uh, so some of the things that people really expect, we have certain things that when I sit down here as Patricia and I'm thinking about getting married, there are certain things I'll, I, I already have in my mind. And this is, I can see society has put them in my mind that my husband is supposed to do this and all that. Gideon, at what point probably did you sit down with your partner and have the gender role conversation? At what point did you ask each other, so who does what? Are we going to live with what we've had people talk about or do we get to create something that gets to work for us? What point did you have that conversation and what was really the content of the conversation that stands out from what society expects of us? Okay. Uh, what I believe is that marriages, we don't have like set standards mm -hmm. of how a marriage should work. Mm -hmm. We don't have like guidelines of you're supposed to do A, B, C, D. Mm -hmm. I believe so much in a marriage that is customized mm -hmm. to fit your needs mm -hmm. as the wow. two partners. Yeah. Because if we come in with the societal expectations, mm -hmm. then you're going to have it wrong. Mm -hmm. Because everyone, there's what your social expects, there's yes. what your, your mom, mother, your, uncle. your uncles, everyone will come telling you as a man, this is how you're supposed to behave. To As a woman, this is how <laughs> you're supposed to treat your man. Uh -huh. But for me, I believe in a situation where we agree, mm -hmm. these are your strengths, mm -hmm. these are my strengths, mm -hmm. these are your weaknesses, these are my weaknesses. How do we bring in this together and get that thing which we, in our own rights, mm -hmm. is perfect? I like that. Perfection mm -hmm. should not be defined from outside. Mm -hmm. Perfection should not be defined from what the society thinks is right. Mm -hmm. Perfection is between the two of us. This works for us. It doesn't necessarily have to work for another couple. Yeah. This would work for in our context. It doesn't have to work in another context. Mm -hmm. Why? Because all of us, we have different personalities. We have different goals. We have different set of visions. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it, it's something that is unique to the two of you. Mm -hmm. So you decide what you want to have mm -hmm. and how you want to have it. Okay. Forget about what the society thinks. Mm -hmm. And if you are to satisfy the society, you die for how long do, do you that? manage to do it? Yeah. I don't think you even manage a minute. Oh, wow. So live by your own set standards and your own, what makes you happy is what really counts. I not really what makes your neighbor or even your parents. And I'm sorry to the parents who are watching, I not really even like your parents. <laughs> I really like what you've said and I yeah. like what you've said that this perfection that you try to look for, don't look for it outside. Mm -hmm. Sit down with your partner. So if you're watching us tonight, I hope that you get to understand you don't need to bring in people, outsiders, even if it's your mom or your dad or whatever, you don't have to bring outsiders in your uh, relationships or in your marriage. Get advice, but certain things have limits. Mm -hmm. Emma, what do you think is the best time probably for women watching us tonight or who are going to watch this interview later? Mm -hmm. When is the best time for them to have the gender roles conversation and what are they supposed to address and also talk about how do they do it the right way not feeling like oh you you have to do this and all that and balancing also that you don't have expectation because couple a do these together that you expect you and your spouse or you and your partner are gonna do the same thing uh, okay so the, um, the right time for a couple to have um, 
the gender role conversation is when they decide that you know they want to get to the next uh, step so when the relationship has has got you know has gone some mile mm -hmm. um, then that is the time to have that conversation mm -hmm. And um, it should be earlier on, mm -hmm. so then you know, because if you're going to spend the rest of your life mm -hmm. or a considerable amount of uh, your life time with um, this person, I think that's, um, it's, it's important to have that conversation. Mm -hmm. And also to, you asked, the second question you asked was, um, how you don't look at couple A and want mm -hmm. whatever works for couple A to work for you. How do you have that conversation without bringing in things that are working for others and probably they may not work for you. Yeah. Look at the two of you. Look at the situation the two of you are in. Look at your schedules. Look at um, how best you would customize um, both your schedule and what works for the two of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, we cannot, we live in a place or when you're with someone it is so hard to not have expectations you even have expectations from your own parents from your own employers and all that what expectations Gideon did you have in your spouse let, let us talk about those expectations so that we now try to see are they normal what can we do to to make sure that probably we are having because you see you sit down and ex I, I i was looking as i was doing research on this topic someone was like i expected my my partner to be the one who takes out the trash i expected him to be the one who takes the car to the garage and all that so what expectations did you have well uh patricia as an african let me put it like yeah this, as an african man well uh <laughs> unfortunately uh, there in a, in the african context mm -hmm. uh and from time immemorial, there are those things that, uh, remember the uncles you talked about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, uh, and the aunties. There, is, there are those things you're told uh, as a man you're not supposed to do this. Mm -hmm. I may not get to the specifics of my case, mm -hmm. however, there are things that I had in mind, mm -hmm. which now after you get into marriage you realize they are not real, mm -hmm. they are not realistic. Mm -hmm. And as a man, I think it is not, it doesn't make you weaker mm -hmm. to pick a plate of, uh, to pick a plate from the table to the kitchen. kitchen. You go wash your hands there, yeah. so you not carry your plate with you. It doesn't make you weaker <laughs> uh -huh. if the baby is crying there mm -hmm. and you decide what your name chukwe. Would you change a diaper, Gideon? Ah, a diaper maybe not. <laughs> 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 but not because I'm a, a man, man. Mm -hmm. it's more because of maybe uh, how I feel, okay. or maybe uh, what it will imply. But it would help feed the baby. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it could okay. help. Okay. I don't mind. Okay. Uh, but I think most of the things we come into marriages with, mm -hmm. and I've not stayed in marriage for long to mm -hmm. authoritatively talk about it, mm -hmm. but I think from experience and being that even at campus I did gender and development studies, mm -hmm. I think there are those things as which are defined to be manly, mm -hmm. which in reality they are not. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm sorry to the fellow men who are watching, mm -hmm. but some of them, most of these things are oppressive to the women. Yes. And I think it comes a time when you realize that this is your helper. Mm -hmm. And what does a helper do? Mm -hmm. They help you do what you're already doing or what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas there are those expected roles for a man, mm -hmm. the God-given roles for a yeah. man which we call LPP which is leadership uh, providing and protecting, protecting. Mm -hmm. again it doesn't mean that you can't wash the dishes mm -hmm. and I know my wife is watching <laughs> and maybe I've not washed dishes for a long time uh -huh. but uh, it doesn't make me weaker if I did that yeah. it doesn't make her uh, stronger than I am yeah, yeah. today she says Today, I'm the one taking care of the shopping. Mm -hmm. Today, hi, sweetie, how about this month if I pay rent? Mm -hmm. I mean, it doesn't make me weaker and make her stronger just because there are those adjustments that we've made. Okay. So there are things that I can do, mm -hmm. uh, which she cannot. Mm -hmm. There are things she can do, which I cannot. Mm -hmm. But I don't think they are cast on stones. Okay. It's flexibility mm -hmm. and goes back to that. I think we need to give our expectations very clearly from the word go. Mm -hmm. And she said, 
at the point when you are dating. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. you don't want to come and get surprised. Ten when years you in are marriage is when you're in marriage and you. you are learning. This is not the guy I knew. <laughs> this is not the lady that I knew. Okay. Align those expectations early enough mm -hmm. so that you don't get disappointed. Okay. Uh, okay. Before we get to talk about uh, shared responsibility, something that Gideon has, uh, has also touch, uh, touched uh, on. Emma, do you feel like we have so much... Uh, exaggerated expectations on women, especially now looking at a space whereby women are breaking glass ceilings. Uh, women are also going to work, they will come home tired and all that, but we still expect them to come home and do the dishes. Some will even feel like, no, you have a house manager, but as a woman, do one, two, three, four. Are we putting so much expectation on our women? Yes. Um, my answer to that is yes. Mm -hmm. It's time we, you know, be realistic mm -hmm. about what women can do mm -hmm. and uh, customize it to the now. Mm -hmm. So a woman wakes up in the morning, mm -hmm. uh, she's expected to probably dress the babies, mm -hmm. do uh, a few household chores here and there, mm -hmm. still dress up and be, you know, leave the house in time to be at work. You forgot to prepare the husband <laughs> because he has <laughs> to be prepared. <laughs> <laughs> to iron his clothes and you know brush his shoes, yeah. prepare breakfast for, for him. you know both mm -hmm. of them, mm -hmm. and uh, you know still get to work and get to perform. Mm -hmm. I feel it's too much pressure. Mm -hmm. uh, that's like the highest you know standard <laughs> to hold a woman, and and you know normally when a marriage fails or something goes wrong, mm -hmm. they normally say the woman failed, mm -hmm. you understand? So mm -hmm. I, I feel it's too much pressure on the woman mm -hmm. and it's high time we got realistic mm -hmm. because it, both of you come home tired mm -hmm. but then the man expects because you are the woman, you have to serve me. I love the you know. four. Exactly. The then we, <laughs> exactly. And I was working. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm. So Gideon, uh, do you feel, I'll not do justice if I don't ask this, do you also feel like we have a lot of expectations on men? Are we pushing them to a certain corner where we're like, you're supposed to do this as a man, you're supposed to do this as a man? Do you feel probably there's a way women can also try to create a balance and help also the, the boy child in creating this perfect relationship and this perfect marriage yeah. as far as gender roles are concerned? Yeah, the truth of the matter is that there is pressure from both ends. Mm -hmm. And uh, for men, Especially, and I mentioned one of the expectations is that they're supposed to provide. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is a common cliche that in a house, as a man, mm -hmm. if I have 500 bob mm -hmm. and my wife has 5,000, mm -hmm. that house, mm -hmm. there's only 500 shillings. Yours is Why? ours, mine is mine. Yes. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I'm a man, mm -hmm. I'm the one who's supposed to provide. Mm -hmm. I think. Uh, most of us men are running into depression because sometimes even your wife is earning more than you do. Mm -hmm. uh, say your boyfriend is, uh, your girlfriend is earning even more than you do. And she'll still but still, expect you to she'll still ask you for money for, say, to do my hair, mm -hmm. earning money to buy, sweetie, did you see the new dress? in town, mm -hmm. have you seen the new kimono? You know, those things will still <laughs> come up. Okay. Uh, yet, this guy might be even in a fix. Uh -huh. So I think, especially in that financial bit of it, mm -hmm. men are expected to do so much. Mm -hmm. That is one area that needs to be corrected. Okay. I think it doesn't hurt if we agree to help one another. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes even a husband will get sick. True. Uh, what are you supposed to do as a wife? Would mm -hmm. you just stay there and wait for them to get well there now? Start. I mean, it's mm -hmm. very absurd mm -hmm. that it's taken that it's just the re responsibility of a man to provide. Okay. And I'm not saying men should abscond that responsibility. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, I would feel very bad if I didn't provide <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> in my okay. house. I wish you know. every man thought <laughs> of but, that uh, like Gideon. We don't have to abscond the responsibility, but at the same time, mm. it doesn't... The, the, the ladies can still help. Okay, yeah. so that now brings us to the point where we get to talk about shared responsibility. How now do we get to our house as me and the partner and sit down and try to see how now can we do these things? Because at the end of the day, it's the two of you. Mm -hmm. And for that relationship and for that marriage to work, it takes the two of you. So Emma, how can our people, couples in relationships and in marriages, be able to really understand what shared responsibility is without having to take advantage of the other spouse? Mm. 
that that's a, a very uh, good question and as he has already pointed out mm -hmm. you know the men feel like the lady should chip in mm -hmm. yeah and he has a very valid point mm -hmm. uh, what happens then god forbid when your husband is incapacitated mm -hmm. and they are not going to work mm -hmm. yeah so shared responsibility here should be two way mm -hmm. if a man expects you to chip in the bills mm -hmm. as um, a man he should also try and help out in the house mm -hmm. and um, remember when a couple has children mm -hmm. those children learn by what they see mm -hmm. so then we train wh what are we showing those children mm -hmm. uh, growing up what are we trying to model mm -hmm. for to, you know to them mm -hmm. and um, then okay science says that uh, when two parents are happy and uh, when the father also helps in actively bringing up children and helping in the house the mother is less stressed and they bring up very healthy and uh, you know happy children mm -hmm. so then I think it's, it's, it's time that we accepted that times have changed yeah. and uh, that women are working now mm -hmm. and women are taking up more responsibility mm -hmm. according to there's a study that was carried and uh, you know, uh, people were asked, what do you think when it comes to marriage, mm -hmm. what is the percentage of, you know, what women give vis-a-vis -vis what men, men give? give. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was shocking. Mm -hmm. The women give 85% mm -hmm. and men only give, you know, 15% into the marriage. And, mm -hmm. you know, that should set us thinking and mm -hmm. see what is it that we are doing wrong and what is it that we could do better, mm -hmm. you know, for a better society. Okay. Now, having touched on all that, the expectations, how to have conversations about shared responsibility in a very healthy manner without um, without oppressing the other partner, how now do we change the mindset? Because uh, as we were starting, I talked about society. And at some point, I even have conversations with myself and I say, I wish that society was a person that I could go and ask questions rather than just sit here and talk about society and there's really no one to address when you talk about this. So now how do we change the mindset of people, especially probably our men, and make them understand that times are changing? How do we now start to sit down together and try to understand that for, for us to make this unit a good unit, then we have to help each other, we have to support each other. And I was telling Emma as we were starting that Sometimes you find a man who probably helps the wife do the dishes will not come and talk about it openly and say, I help out. Unless he be sure his friends do that. Because he's scared that society will start being like, hey, Buddha, mbona unafanyanga hizo vitu. So Gideon, how can, now, now, how can we break this mindset mm. about what that people have? Okay, I think uh, it has to start from where we lost it. Mm -hmm. And that point is when we empowered the women more than we empower, empower the, the boys, the, the boys. Mm -hmm. because with the rise of feminism mm -hmm. uh, there's radical feminism where they believe what a woman can do what, what a, man a man can, can do, do a, a woman can, can do, do better, better. Mm -hmm. and it's at that point that I ask if that can happen if uh, as a man I can say for example Buried. How about you just take care of everything else? Mm -hmm. I mean, some of these things, they are not realistic. Mm -hmm. We have our strength as men. Mm -hmm. We have, you have your strength as women. Mm -hmm. Let's get to a place where we understand that there's my place, there's your place. And we begin telling men, it's never a weakness if you're not even able to do a particular thing. Mm -hmm. We also begin telling this young man, this mm -hmm. uh, boy, mm -hmm. that don't see, I don't need to see Emma as my enemy mm -hmm. as we grow up, just because she's doing better than I am. Mm -hmm. It's okay for her to excel in life. Mm -hmm. I can learn from her. Because we lost it when we started telling the women mm -hmm. that go out there and excel mm -hmm. beat the men mm -hmm. that's i don't think that's the conversation you're supposed to have mm -hmm. it is supposed to be what can we do all of us mm -hmm. as you empower this girl empower this boy mm -hmm. so that they are going empower and we are complementing each other mm -hmm. as opposed to making it look like it's competition making it look like mm -hmm. it's sort of an enmity between these two genders mm -hmm. and let's also t uh, make men understand as much as that's not how we've been socialized I have feelings. Mm -hmm. It's okay to even express those feelings. I have fears. Mm -hmm. It's okay to express those fears. Mm -hmm. Because why uh, women, 
Well, why men? Why the percentage, the greatest percentage of people are suffering from this depression are men? Mm -hmm. It's because we want to keep it inside of us, because mm -hmm. we look weak. Mm -hmm. So I think if we can pick that uh, conversation mm -hmm. from where we lost direction mm -hmm. and bring it back to course, mm -hmm. I think it will be better. Okay. Right from primary, let's show this man, this, mm -hmm. this young boy, that you are going to become a man. This is what the society expects, but this is how the reality looks like on ground. Okay. Let's tell the girl the same. Mm -hmm. so then to, as they grow, they are able to know that it is okay to be the way I am. Mm -hmm. And we can have that candid conversation with my partner mm -hmm. that this is how we will make ours work. Okay. It is not how the society said it should work. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so final comments, I'm giving each one of you 30 seconds to part in short about these to people who are watching us at home. What is it that you'd really like to, what is it that you'd like to tell them that will make everything that we've talked about today stand stand out? Emma. So my parting shot is this. To recognize that when we are, uh, we need to recognize when we are part of the problem. Mm -hmm. And you spoke of the glass ceiling. Mm -hmm. It exists because, you know, we put it there. Mm -hmm. And if we want to be part of the solution, mm -hmm. words are no longer enough. Mm -hmm. And uh, as my friend here said, mm -hmm. that uh, we need to fix um, what the problem is feminism and uh, I don't know how it's modeled. The problem starts with family. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to read a quote uh, for you. Um, I would like, so well, this is a quote that I really like. Mm -hmm. The world of humanity is possessed by two wings and the male and the female. So as these two wings are not equivalent in strength, mm -hmm. the bird will not fly. Okay. So instead of teaching, you know, our boys to be strong uh, and brave and, you know, to be some type of way because they are male and teaching our women to look pretty and uh, stuff, we can teach them to be better humans mm -hmm. and uh, to tap into their hearts, to be sensitive, to be emotionally intelligent and... Um, because you know it makes him because it makes him more of a man okay yeah because yeah okay uh so let us uh wind up there because time is not on our side what i would say is that as Gideon has said, as we continue to empower uh, the girls in the society, let us also not forget uh, the boys and also tr learn to create a very good and very well balanced so that we have to create a revolution of both the female and the male males that have very much empowered and know what decision it is that they have to make. Thank you very much for being with us. My name is Patricia Morioki. Drive yourselves a very good night.